People are quite terrified of making bread or making dough and getting it wrong and thinking that there is a technique that they don't know. This personally is my basic kneading technique because all I'm doing is kind of using the ball of my hand, really stretching the dough, pushing it away and pulling it back. A little quarter turn each time. Like some people, you can really get it down, stretch it. And that's the way that I was taught, was that folding in yeah. and folding out. Because again, you stretch it. So yeah, it's the same okay. kind of same principle. Don't worry, there's no kind of foolproof way of doing it. Just don't be gentle. It's really give it a good strap workout. Okay. You'll have a go? Yeah. If there's no foolproof way, what are you actually wanting to do with this? Once you hydrate flour, yeah. that's when the gluten forms. And simply what you want to do is really work that gluten. Get okay. really stretchy and elastic. It's not really hard work, is it? It's, it's quite nice work. So how long do you need to do this for? Um, roughly about 10 minutes, but largely depends on how you need. Okay. If I do this for 10 minutes, I'll be nowhere. But if you really... Okay. It could be quicker. Because the first time you do it, it could be more like 15 to 20 minutes maybe. It's like the first time you run a mile. Yeah, okay. It says five minutes. No, it doesn't. It's way longer. <laughs> so what we're looking for is what we call the window pin. You should be able to stretch it. That you can, the light almost passes through mm, like yeah. a window. So you can see it's almost there, but it's still kind of tearing. Yes. This so means it's very close. You need one minute or two more kneading, and we're done. Okay, let's have a little look. You can see the light kind of coming through it? Yeah. We might say 10 minutes, but let the dough yeah. tell you. It'll tell you when it's ready. Our baby is there. I love it. 